Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm taking, gonna take you inside the tool shop here to show you what kind of tools you may need to start, uh, well, not may need, what you probably will need to start your little fence company uh, if you follow the directions that uh, it took for me to get there. Uh, and if not, hey, no, well, no big deal. There's other people out there that uh, have directions you could follow too as far as getting your fence company started. But if that's what you're starting. And you know what? I bet you the principle's pretty much the same, whether it's a fence company or some other kind of uh, uh, construction company. You're going to need tools to get started, and you know that. First off, you're probably going to need a truck to get out to those estimates so you can you know uh, estimate the job you know and I showed you in another video how to estimate about a 50 foot wood job if you've been watching some of the videos um, but anyway uh, from that yeah you're gonna need uh, <laughs> the truck to get to the estimates and then of course with what I've already showed you as far as the EIN number you know and uh, uh, getting your LLC and your domain getting your uh, construction co contractor board license and all that good stuff uh, you know all that stuff's going to have to be in place before you even start putting these tools to work. Uh, so it's good to have tools, but it's also better to have all the other tools uh, before you even start putting these to work, man. Uh, but anyway, hey, let's go inside here. Check this out. All right. So, yeah, my light don't work. It's one of those, uh, it's probably covered with snow. Um, anyway, let's let's get started here. You're probably going to need a pair of diggers, okay? A pair, pair of diggers. And like I said, you're probably going to need a rock bar. And there's a big old 40, 35 pound rock bar. Um, probably going to need a shovel. Uh, let's see. This is what's called a bull pole. Uh, and, and you can probably go to those videos there, I got a bull pole. Um, and what that does is you wrap that chain around the concrete set there and, and then that fulcrum there. Uh, takes it right out of the ground. Of course, you're going to have to use some of the tools in order to dig around it, you know, in order to pop it out of there. There's that, uh, there's that uh, sledgehammer there. Um, <clears throat> anyway, those are pretty much a lot of the same, a lot of the tools you're going to need um, for the fence line, uh, at least just to get started digging holes. Um, let's see, what else do I got here? You're probably going to need, uh, let's see, a chop saw. Uh, oh, port a band to cut metal, maybe. Um, let's see. A hard hat. No, we don't use hard hats. <laughs> a drill. Probably going to need a drill. Screw the bolts in. You know, probably going to need a jackhammer there. And you might even need <clears throat> something like that. A generator to power the jackhammer. Because sometimes, I tell you what, some of those holes get pretty brutal. <laughs> asphalt <clears throat> concrete you name it some of those sets are pretty brutal you know and, and they got to come out especially if the customer wants them out uh let's see oh yeah and if you got it and if you're getting in business you know you're probably going to have to have those kind of thing you know the labor laws and all that good stuff right right and uh yeah i've got that one there for oregon okay uh obviously you're probably gonna need some supplies every now and then you know uh, that's if you got employees <laughs> even if you have yourself and you're doing it yourself you're gonna need supplies uh let's see uh if you do any welding you know if you do any welding you're gonna need a welder you know uh let's see what else these are the chain link tools but uh i'm gonna save that for another video for right now um anyway there you go. There's some of the tools that it took that took me to get started where I'm at. Um, and I don't know where you're at with your little fencing career, if you're starting one or any other kind of job, that, any other kind of business that you're starting, you know, to put food on your table, you know, you're going to need tools. Um, but before you do that, make sure you go about it properly, you know, making sure that the name isn't ch taken through the state, making sure that uh, the, the domain is in your your business name is in your domain right make sure that um and then make sure that the domain's not taken right because a lot of nowadays a lot of these domains these names you think of you know they come up and next thing you know they may even be worth uh tens of thousands of dollars on the internet there and then you're going to have to pay for that right 
in order to uh, you know so just come up with a name make sure that it's right not registered uh, with it with your state make sure that the dom your business name is in the domain uh, and that's a good thing to get started with uh, once you've got that taken care of you know you can file for your LLC uh, of course if you need a contractor's license you're probably gonna have to go to school for that um, uh, and then once you, and then you get insured and get your license and all that stuff and then your EIN number, you know, and the bank account and, and your square, whatever else it takes to, you know, to get out there and, and get these estimates taken care of. And, and, uh, so that way you can land these jobs, you know, make sure that, uh, see one thing you want to do is for, for professional, if you're using email, right, that's why it's so important to get your domain name, right? Because then when you get the email. You can put yourself in front, you know, because that's more professional instead of saying, you know, uh, like my fix defense uh, at Yahoo or something, right? Okay. No, it's my name at my fence company. It's more important, you know, John at fix LLC.com. That's more professional, wouldn't you think? Uh, instead of saying John at John or fix offense at gmail.com, you know, no, it, it goes to my website, fix LLC.com. Bam, you know. But anyway, uh, and that website there, there again, that's another thing. You probably really want to keep that uh, uh, simple, short, sweet, and to the point, relevant, so that the spiders don't have to really work so hard. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm probably mumble and jumbling a lot, but you know, this is what it's taken me to get where I'm at so far, you know? And this is just a little shed in my backyard, man. I'm, I'm like busting at the seams, ready to go 13 to 15 weeks out with the marketing that I've done. It is YouTube channels, you know, and organic searches and stuff like that. You know, that's what it takes. But obviously, you know, another thing is being in business for the, since I've doing, been doing this since 2009. I mean, I've been using YouTube for that long. I've got over 150 some odd videos. My goodness, you know, I'm surprised I only got 975 subscribers. But hey, thanks for you guys that gotten on board, man. That's so cool, man. This little fence company is growing here at YouTube. Anyway, maybe one of these days I'll put a plaque up here, huh? <laughs> From YouTube, wouldn't that be cool? Uh, but anyway, hey, you know, and, and uh, if you like what's going on here at Fix a Fence, you know, smash the like button, man. You know, like everybody else is saying out there, smash that like button, you know, subscribe to the channel, you know, and, uh, but, you know, I'm just doing the best I can, like I've said. Uh, so anyway, yeah, you know, just make sure these things are in place before you start your little fence company, because if it, if they're not in place, and 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 the contractor board catches you, right? Well, be like me, you know. They caught me uh, before I got all this in place. I was advertising on Craigslist, you know, and it caught me as an unlicensed uh, contractor, and uh, they were going to sue me or whatever. They're going to sue me, you know. But they they're the ones that gave me the hoops to jump through, you know. And I just I was it, I'm telling you, man, it was by the grace of God that I had all the money stacked up that I could jump through these hoops. And that's exactly what I did. I just jumped through the hoops that they gave me to jump through. And these are the hoops that I'm telling you. Anyway, if that's what you wanna do, jump through the hoops, man. <laughs> and then you could be an entrepreneur working for yourself and not for the man. All right, Fix the Fence LLC, coming to you inside the shop to give you an idea what kind of tools you're gonna to need to build your fence company. Have a great day, keep smiling.